trying something different here. We're going to be bringing you the top types of grass located on golf courses around the world. The Parfessor himself is bringing out all the tools in the toolbox here. You should be called the Parfessor. Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. Let's go. I like You should be called the Parfessor. In the next couple months, in regards to golf architect and also golf maintenance. So, of course, we got to start off with a little bit of history ourselves and talk about those top most common golf grasses and how they react to the golf ball and the golf course itself. Starting off at number 10, Polo Annua. Now, that is a name I didn't know right off the bat, but I know a couple of its commonly used names like bluegrass, annual bluegrass, annual blue. Polo Annua is considered a wild card wonder because like any other grass known on this list for its consistent role, Polo Annua greens are created even ever-changing canvases where the challenging of reading and just adapting to the surfaces become a major part of the game. Now one of the main big courses that we know that have these type of greens is Torrey Pines located in San Diego, California for the annual Farmers International Cup, which is a very well-known championship round. You can see that these greens are consistently rolling and everlastingly delicious. For golfers trying to score on these type of greens, it is important to note that a lot of touch and adaptability will play a factor in the ball path. It is majorly influenced not only by the golfer's stroke, but also the ever-changing texture of the grass. It's important to note that. Putts will break suddenly, and in the morning it may break even more pronounced than in the afternoon. On some of these rounds, it's consistent that that's the case. In the end, polar annual greens create a narrative of their own magnificent memories in golf history. As players stand over putts, they become part of an unfolding drama between a dance of the golfer, the grass, and the golf ball. It's going to move us now into number nine on this fun list. It's going to feel like a vacation here with Baya Grass, the thirsty champion. Now this warm embrace of sunshine and humidity, Baya Grass, is almost a thirsty champion of golf courses. He celebrates what is a remarkable resilience of eco-friendly attributes. Thriving in areas of sandy soils and also has a very low maintenance requirement. Biograss has become a popular choice for golf courses with suitability and cost effectiveness. Now without compromising to players adaptability to a real golf course and the real grass on it. I tell you what, Baez Gouda. Now, a staple location of where this golf course type grass can be located would be at Steam Song Resort, located in Boulder Green, Florida. Now, there's three nine-hole golf courses to choose from, and all of them have the fairways of this grass. Now, it's rough and offers blend of landscape and environmental stewardship. And as you can imagine, that just means it requires less water and maintenance throughout other types of grass commonly used at golf courses. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I can't think of a golf course that I played this type of grass off of, so I can't give a relatable feel to it, but if you stick around on this channel, rest assured, we will. The grass is becoming an ambassador for suitable practices within the golf industry and pushing pressures on other golf courses to adapt or not being able to pay some of their water bills. In conclusion, Biograss is a warm season turf grass commonly found in southern states like Florida. So I'm suggesting that you probably played this one and I did too. It's just not a name jumping out at us, but maybe it has as we continue to do throughout this list. We got eight more to go. Moving into number eight, Fescue Grass, the Rough Beauty. Now, Fescue is located mostly on coastal link golf courses and also rugged terrain. Fescue Grass stands as a rugged beauty of the golfing world with its fine textured blades gently on the coastal breeze, giving these courses a wind fill of charm and captures the essence of traditional link style golf. A golfer embarked 
on a journey across a magnificent golf course, they encounter a true test of the game when it comes to its durability and creativity. Molding some of the most beautiful golf courses like the ones in Scottport, England, Royal Birkdale Golf Club, where all of the course has fescue grass. Now, it showcases some of the major golf tournaments. Outside of its rich history, fescue grass is easy to maintain and doesn't require much fertilizer. However, some of the disadvantages of fescue grass is it requires a well-draining soil system and cannot tolerate heat or overwhelming foot traffic. It's something you would mostly see on private golf course. Moving us now into number seven is Pestalo grass. Now, I'll be honest with you, didn't know this one was out there until they get a little bit of digging and learned that it's mostly in southern parts of the world. One of the courses that jumps out is, is in Mexico at El Camelion Golf Club, which is a stop on the PGA Tour multiple years. And of course, a golf course like this is going to be eco-friendly, offering less water needed. Now, the feel of the course is a little bit different. And Pestalo grass outperforms other turf grasses with its ability to grow and thrive with just a little bit of water, soil, and other areas with heavy sea spray. Pestalo processes salt in a way that is unique when compared to other major golf grasses like Bermuda, which fall at the bottom of this spectrum in regards to salt tolerance. It thrives in the summertime, springs, but in the winter it will go dormant, this grass. It's going to move us into one of my favorite grasses out there to play golf on. That is rye grass. Now this is a winter warrior. It can just take a blanket of ice in its fairways and just play through. Although it is a well-known name in the golfing industry in regards to its growing habits, it's not the best. It can become a little bit patchy with the rye grass. And as a result, you're seeing less of it in development in the golf course. Major courses like Augusta National use rye grass seeds to overseed each fall, which is interesting in the rough and I think the tee box areas. With the best type of rye being perennial rye grass, the smoothest putting surfaces. In comparison to other grasses, rye grass is consistently lighter in color and less as thick. With ryegrass being most popular as a choice for overseeding during the winter months of various golf courses like you know around the world, Scottsdale, TPC Scottsdale, another one is the stadium course at PGA West and Doral Golf Course located in Miami, Florida. Some of the big hitters there drop that seat all over the place. Slicing this list right in half is number five with Coast Shore Pestalum. This one is a coastal conqueror with major golf course resorts like the one in Hawaii. Another golf course on this list that goes dormant in the winter. This one also spreads rapidly in comparison to the other golf grasses and performance in comparison to a Bermuda type grass. Some of the pros about this grass results in less problems with insects, but, but chemicals are required, which can become costly. Some of these disgusting little critters could be mold crickets, web worms, white gribs, cut worms, fail army worms, some things I never heard of and hopefully you can learn more about that destroy golf courses. Moving into number four on this list, Kentucky bluegrass, which is a timeless classic, one would say. Kentucky bluegrass stands the test of time, weaving its natural beauty and tradition all over the place and spreading its seeds throughout the golfing community. Its historical fairways reach Augusta National to its prestigious links in St. Andrews. What sets Kentucky bluegrass apart is its range of climate, making it a popular choice in timid areas and also durability to withstand both the summer heats and the cooler temperatures. One of the pros about Kentucky bluegrass is its great ability to spread, recovers quickly from damages, but also some of the negatives is its high maintenance requiring a lot of water and grass has poor water absorption. Because of its 
shallow roots resulting in mud and water runoff on golf course and we've seen that and asked a lot of questions it gets a little patchy at those type of courses moving into number third on this list is zoysia grass this showcases not only playability for a golf course but its appeal the way it looks and adaptability on a course makes it great for players and golf designers some of the courses that really highlight this golf grass would be the east course golf club located in atlanta georgia now the east course has historical value and hosts major tournaments like the tour championship and the fedex cup now some of the pros about the zoysia grass is it includes drought resistant low maintenance requirements and dense growth patterns while some of the cons it has slow establishment tolerance to heavy foot traffic and also potential of buildup making it a excellent seed for golf designers because it takes less watering and mowing than other grass seeds but also has a rough grass statue to it in comparison to other ones this grass seed can really make a golf course pop in regards to its color enhancing its overall attributes of a course and the uniform of its fairways and with just two more to list it becomes pretty predictable what the last two could be of course we have the bermuda grass the resilient champion courses like the pga national resort and club located in florida use this delicious sun-kissed landscape type grass and there's nothing wrong with that one of the major pros about bermuda grass would be its athletic performance withstanding huge foot traffic and its ability to bounce back right right then and there for ideal sporting events such as golf bermuda grass is heat and drought resistant making it one of the most common turf specimens on golf courses particularly in warmer climates and region areas of hot temperatures it also recovers quickly from divots making it very suitable and standard for such as the masters who uses this for their uh, fairways tees and greens one of the most iconic golf courses in the world some of the cons about bermuda grass would be its low shade tolerance because it needs about eight hours a day of sunlight to grow in regards to playing on bermuda grass it can be very tough that is, it, it, it's a matter of survival with the thick grass. It catches your blade, slows down your club. You're better off just kind of uh, cutting your losses and chopping at the ball with a short iron on the cases of some of these hard golf courses. Moving into number one on this list, the most famous we can come up with is the bent grass green, the considered the magnificent monarch. Now it stands tall beyond any other one from its fine textures. And also ball roll and ability to create fallless putting surfaces bent grass greens have become a staple in the golfing elite and championship worthy golf courses around the world considered to be the best putting surfaces in the game unparalleled to any others its putting surfaces are fast true and consistent ball roll and its ability for players just to score and have the time of their life when going out there and playing and dropping some putts on some real courses in the northeast it's considered a very popular one because it is a cool season grass thriving in regions of cooler temperatures and moderate temperatures and peak growth during the spring and fall seasons all this comes at a price being one of the high maintenance to keep up with grasses for a lot of reseeding overseeding and but for the most part for golf courses like the u.s open u.s championship they have these type of grasses the bent grass greens putting surfaces out there and each one of them that's going to do it for this unique professor type list we're going to be trying different things golf related in regards to getting better getting more friendly with the golf course so when we go out there and rate these courses it sounds like we know what we're doing and if you have any course that we got to get to just let us know down below that's going to do it for this list. Keep a lookout for more videos to come.